Hi, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. Okay, so can we play the flams around the kit beyond the pad? Yes, we can. The, we, we can do it. The flam is not just for use in drum corps and for pad uh, snare drum use. It can be used in a lot of different ways. So please go back or find the other videos um, first on flams and watch the preliminary ones and also how to accent, how to hold sticks, all these videos we have here, and hold your body. This is martial arts that meets the drums. So it's the ancient wisdom of martial arts incorporating the most efficient movement of the body into the drums because we're moving our bodies a lot here. So it occurred to me at one point to incorporate the two and this is a result of it. As well, being a student of the mind, uh, I took NLP, which is non linguistic programming, and started to think how, how can I make myself and you um, better drummers by um, using these techniques to increase um, uh, our speed, our dynamics, our ability to play by uh, tapping into the infinite power of the mind. Okay. All right, so, uh, flam, ghost note, with an accent, right? Ghost note with an accent, play faster. Okay. Well, on the pad, great. Now, what if we started to think outside the box and play it on the kit? For instance, a ghost note here with an accent on the tom. Or, ghost note on the tom with an accent on the snare. Or ghost note on the tom with an accent on the rim. Or ghost note on the rim with an accent on the tom head. Or ghost note on one tom to a different sounding tom so we get a light note to a hard note, right? Go back, back. We start mixing it up. Idea, right? So, what about as a fill? It makes it more interesting. What if we put it into, let's say, the typical one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the What if we made it? Much different sound. What if we use the flam on the hi hat? Can we do that? Sure. Flam, 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 right? Uh, what if we were to use the hi hat as a clam, as clamming our hi hat on certain notes? So. go from the hi-hat to the cymbal. So, a beat. Interesting fill, right? Leave the bass drum out. Even more space. Rest notes in there. What about accenting? Sometimes we'll take our stick, right, and we want to punch the accent if we're doing a fill. Well, right. what if we did it as a flam instead? So it wasn't exactly together, it was just a little before. So we're ghosting on the snare and crashing on the cymbal, right? So different dynamics.
hammock, right? Yeah. Um, using the rim. If you have a click rim, right? see so electronic drums, you have a click, and according to how I set my threshold, if I hit the rim harder, it will be a either tom sound or a click sound, or with a snare drum, it will be a click sound or a whatever sound I want to set it to, a deeper snare, a deeper snare sound in this case. So that's the regular head, that's the rim, I hope you can hear the difference. Okay, so what about if we played a light note followed by an accent, which would be a flam, right? So, okay, all the way around. You get the idea that flams can be played in a lot of ways. You want to put it on four, by the way. One, E, N, flam, two, E, N, flam, three, E, N, flam, four, E, N, flam, four. So wherever you want, put it on two. Okay, so that's having more fun with flams. There's an infinite amount of permutations of doing this. Um, every day it's a good idea to do something you didn't do the day before when you're learning to play the drums. If you've been playing for 50 years, great. There's something you haven't done that you can think of, right? Do something new, burn a new route. Um, Every day I try to do something I think that I just, I've never done it quite that way or it's just something new. There's, there's an infinite amount of possibilities, so there's no way to do everything, okay? Um, have fun, enjoy, and I hope that this helped you, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. You gotta cut this part out. I uh, dropped the remote and um, yeah, so don't show the part. Okay.